Are you ready to take a trip down memory lane to the year 1986? If you're a fan of classic television, you might recall the popular series Head of the Class. But before we dive into random facts about the show, we have a question for you. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Head of the Class was a beloved sitcom that aired from 1986 to 1991, showcasing the witty and endearing interactions among a group of gifted high school students and their unconventional teacher. It was a show that not only entertained but also offered valuable life lessons, all while delivering plenty of laughs. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Whether it's a funny anecdote, a heartwarming moment, or simply the joy it brought into your life, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's celebrate the nostalgia and share our connections to Head of the Class. So, please, feel free to reminisce and engage with fellow fans. Your stories are a vital part of the legacy of this classic show. Head of the Class was a beloved TV series that aired from 1986 to 1991. The show, created by Michael Elias and Rich Eustace, revolved around a group of academically gifted high school students in a special gifted class at the fictional Millard Fillmore High School in New York City. The series featured iconic characters such as the charismatic and unconventional teacher Charlie Moore, played by Howard Hesseman, and the diverse group of students with their own quirks and personalities. Notable students included the overachieving Arvid and Jen, the rebellious Dennis Blunden, and the charming Darlene Merriman. The show's unique style combined humor and heart, exploring the challenges and triumphs of these bright students as they navigated adolescence and academic excellence. Head of the Class had a significant impact on popular culture by shedding light on the lives of gifted students, showcasing the value of education, and celebrating the diversity of talent within the classroom. The series tackled various social issues and offered life lessons in an engaging and relatable manner, making it a source of inspiration for many viewers. Its witty humor and memorable characters contributed to its enduring popularity, cementing its place as a classic 80-second sitcom. The IHP program in Head of the Class was inspired by a similar program at Walter Reed Middle School in Los Angeles, California. The creators of the show sought to bring an authentic representation of gifted students and their unique educational experiences to the small screen. Walter Reed Middle School's IHP program, which stands for Individual Honors Program, served as a real-world model that helped shape the fictional program at the heart of the show. Christine Hage, who portrayed Simone Foster, was an actual graduate of the Reed IHP program. Her personal connection to the program brought a level of authenticity to her portrayal of a gifted student on the show. This real-life link between the actress and the program she depicted on screen not only added depth to her character, but also lent credibility to the show's overall portrayal of the challenges and triumphs of gifted students. It's fascinating how the series drew inspiration from a real educational setting and included a cast member with first-hand experience in such a program, contributing to the show's realism. This blend of fact and fiction made Head of the Class stand out as a unique and engaging series that resonated with both students and viewers, providing an insightful and entertaining look into the lives of exceptionally bright individuals pursuing their education. The show's success was undoubtedly influenced by the dedication to accuracy and the personal connection of its cast members, making it a memorable part of television history. This insight into the show's origins and authenticity reminds us of the intricate work behind the scenes and the dedication of the individuals involved in its creation, making it a cherished piece of entertainment history. In 1990, Howie Mandel was considered to replace Howard Hesseman as the lead in ABC's Head of the Class. The role eventually went to Scottish comic Billy Connolly. This potential change in the lead role of the series marked a significant moment in the show's history. ABC's decision to consider a replacement for the beloved Howard Hesseman was driven by the network's desire to freshen up the show or risk cancellation. Ultimately, they chose Billy Connolly to take on the role. This decision had an impact on the show's dynamic and the way it continued to captivate its audience in its fifth season. The Head of the Class series was known for its exploration of the lives of academically gifted high school students, and this casting change added a new dimension to the show's legacy. 
The transition from one lead actor to another was a pivotal moment that left a mark on the series' history. This change in leadership brought a fresh perspective to the show, showcasing the adaptability and resilience of the series. Even as it continued to offer a unique and engaging look into the lives of exceptionally bright individuals pursuing their education. One, Howard Hesseman left the series at the end of season four. Sir Billy Connolly took over the lead for the fifth and final season. In the world of television, change is a constant. And in the case of the 1986 TV series Head of the Class, a significant change occurred at the end of season four. Howard Hesseman, who had portrayed the charismatic and unconventional teacher Charlie Moore, bid farewell to the show. This departure marked a pivotal moment in the series' history. Stepping into Hesseman's shoes for the fifth and final season was none other than Sir Billy Connolly. The decision to bring in Connolly as the new lead was driven by a desire to freshen up the show and keep it engaging for its audience. With Connolly at the helm, the series took on a new dimension, showcasing its adaptability and resilience. While Hesseman's departure was a significant shift, it demonstrated the show's ability to evolve and continue offering a unique perspective on the lives of academically gifted high school students. The change in leadership from one seasoned actor to another left an indelible mark on the series' history. It's a reminder that in the world of television, even beloved shows like Head of the Class can undergo transformation and remain captivating in their exploration of the challenges and triumphs of gifted students. With Howard Hesseman leaving the show after four seasons, Billy Connolly was brought in to replace him as a fifth season would ensure the proper number of episodes for syndication. This casting change marked a significant moment in the series' history, showcasing its adaptability and resilience. In the world of television, even beloved shows like Head of the Class can undergo transformation and remain captivating in their exploration of the challenges and triumphs of gifted students. It's a testament to the ever-evolving nature of the medium. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of television. As we reach the end of our journey through the corridors of nostalgia, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with the 1986 TV series, Head of the Class. This iconic show, a delightful blend of humor, intellect, and teenage camaraderie, has touched the hearts of many. Perhaps it was the quirky cast of characters, led by the charismatic Mr. Moore, that made you feel right at home. Maybe it was the witty banter and intellectual challenges that resonated with your own school experiences. Or perhaps the series served as a timeless reminder of the value of friendship, unity, and the pursuit of knowledge. Now, I invite you to share your favorite memories or thoughts about Head of the Class. What episodes left you in stitches? Which character did you resonate with the most? How did the show inspire or impact you in your own life? Your personal stories and insights can breathe new life into the legacy of this cherished series. Let's celebrate the magic it brought into our lives by sharing our experiences. Thank you for taking the time to embark on this journey down memory lane with us. Your thoughts and memories are invaluable, and we're grateful for your interest. Keep the conversation alive, and let's continue to cherish the moments that Head of the Class has given us. Until next time, stay curious, stay connected, and stay inspired. Warm regards.